Hey folks, uh, so around me I have the next set of, of stuff from the other three videos from Watch and Learn Brother, W-A-L-B. Let's get to it. First off, to, we have the infamous chair here. You just kind of sit on it. It's just upstairs with signs on the side. Secondly, we have the trash can. Uh, the description makes it, wants it so that you can take an item, press Q, throw it in there, and it burns. And that you can walk on top of it without falling in the lava and dying. Next we have a electrocuting and fire sword. Minecraft does not have the electrocuting part, so I'm going to throw in some smite. Just take your diamond sword, put it with some smite, and you have a smite 5 sword. Then you combine it with fire aspect, and you have a super flaming awesome sword. So I'm going to spawn a few a spider here, and as you can see, it, it burns fast enough. You just hit it twice and it's dead. Next we have the signboard. You just walk up, open the ender chest, take out the book and quill, then just scroll to the book and quill, and you can type whatever you want into it. Then, you just have to open the ender chest, put it back inside, and then if you want another one somewhere else, say in a town or something, then you just take it out and that's it. Fifthly on our list of things that are possible is a slide which is pretty self-explanatory. It's just water flowing down like this onto a half slab. And we have our nice table using a half slab and some shelves using a half slab. I'm Slenderman, so I took Steve's head. Over here we have how to make a efficient, fast, and durable tool using just a wooden pickaxe. I'm doing this in creative so that I can do this without having to worry about all the enchanting stuff. Then we have, now we have a wooden pickaxe with sharpness 5 on breaking 3 and efficiency 5. Now I'm going to go into survival mode, this pickaxe, and it will be just as fast as a diamond pickaxe. The last thing I'm going to go over is the item placer. And basically he wanted it to where you could have a block right here that when that you could turn on and off for going into things. So if all these blocks are up here in the chest and the power is on then it can't go in here. But then if we release it, then they will start flowing in. Then when you're using it for things like tracks, then you can press this button. It'll go down here. This is set up so that it won't release, it won't power this powered rail unless this hopper is empty. So when this is empty, then the this will turn off and it invert it goes into a torch which inverts this signal. And so when this is not powered, then it'll turn on the rail and go back to where it started. Okay guys, thanks for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe and I'll see you later.